Okay, so if you've seen some of my previous videos, I've been adapting this uh, 1020 header onto a 1460. So this is a uh, 83 model. So it's all, it is electric over hydraulic. Um, and the 1020, it's it's an older 1020. I think it's it doesn't have the newer style wobble box. It's a 15 foot head. So um, this one does have hydraulic four aft. So we had to get that working, which the 14 series never had the hydraulics to do that. So remember in previous videos, we added the selector valve up there that's tied in with the unload auger circuit and ran these hoses down, tied them into there. Um, so then there's just a toggle switch up in the cab to switch between the unload auger and the reel, which works pretty good. Um, also had to replace some hoses uh, just because the, I don't know which one was it, the reel uh, forward was just a little too short. Um, it would work, but when the header was all the way down, it would uh, it would uh, just barely, it, it was a lot of tension on the hole. So anyways, we replaced it. Um, and then I also had to get a longer hose and replace it for the real lift, which pardon my splice there, we had these two quarter inch three foot hoses in a box for probably 10 years. So finally kind of found a good use for them. And then I did replace the quick coupler for that, which is quarter inch. The only thing that got changed here is the male was on the combine side. I switched it to the females on the combine side. That way I can run a dust cap in it um, when I'm not running soybeans like for corn or something because that male fitting that, the old one that was on there always leaked. So um, I got all the hydraulic fittings and all the hoses from Surplus Center. Uh, they have a pretty good website and it's pretty easy. Uh, once you get to know like the GIC, your 37 degree flare fitting sizes, it's really easy to order stuff from them and you can get the flare ends on the hoses or, or pipe ends, whatever you need. So I like to use them. Uh, the other thing we had to do was the um, the auto header height control. So this is the, um, I did have to replace the pot, as you remember, as you might recall in a previous video. Um, so this is the kit from Case for the correct pot for a 14 series. Um, the only thing I did modify is I went to the newer style, I they call these the Deutsch connectors, um, instead of the old black ones, because you can't really get those anymore. Uh, which you can get these from, I think I got them from custom connector kits. So um, you can get the pins and everything from there. It worked really good. So it's it's short, but it's it's long enough. It works. Um, I'm not sure if I have it pinned out right. I kind of tried it. And it seems to work. I think the only thing is I may have to adjust the pot. Because um, if you read online, you can find what your correct voltage is, should be, you know, for all the way down, all the way up for that range. Okay, got the 1460 fired up here. Figured I'd show you the controls. So there's the box for the reel and the unload auger. So show how that works. So flip it that way is for auger, this way is for the reel, and then you just use yeah, you know, it's back there. The Unload auger, and you can see our reel moves. So we're actually gonna set that all the way out. Now we'll keep it in for now, we're so close to the shed. But anyway, so there's that. So we'll flip that back to neutral, and then we'll show you the auto header height. So, give it some throttle here. All right, so here's the 1460 controls. So there's the button, sensitivity, and the height. And you can see right now, I got it kind of set in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. So what we're gonna do, we got it on. I'm gonna shut it off. We're gonna raise the header. See if we can of course that linkage is kind of sticky, but I had it set. 
So now we're going to turn it on and we're going to tap down. There we go. And then it's going to hunt a little bit depending on the sensitivity. And it's found it. And then we can of course adjust the sensitivity and I'm just going to use a knob here. You can see I'm set kind of to the book right below the center line for your height. We can go up and we're going to dial it back down, right? Something like that. And we'll go back up, hit once, raise your head, and then hit down, and it's going to kind of find it. And there we go. So that's kind of to the book. So I think we're kind of good to go. I know earlier I talked about the hoses and I kind of got uh, I got distracted there for a minute. But um, so yeah, we got the hoses, we got the fore and aft working, we got our automatic header header height working. Uh, we did run it a little bit, but the beans they were really uh, really tough green stem still. You know, we checked the moisture. Our agronomist came out, um, and some of the stuff is it was dry. Well, it was 18% a while ago, and uh, but it seems like we've had some rain and it's just not drying down and there's a lot of green spots, so uh, we're gonna have to come back to it. But anyways, a lot of green pods, green beans, and just mixed in with, seems like half of it's green and half of it's, you touch the pods and they shell out on their own. So anyways, I think we're pretty much good to go. I picked up some uh, spare sickle sections I was going to look and see about getting some extra guards and then um, this this does have the, the fingers and the auger and as you can see one of the guides is missing uh, it must have had them all but I don't know if the guide broke off or something but so I'm gonna get probably put an order in and uh, I'm gonna try some of the poly fingers uh, from Shoops I've kind of heard mixed reviews on the um, the uh, auger extensions I don't know if anyone's tried them on a 1020 and had good luck with it you know we primarily are going to be doing soybeans with this so I'd be curious to hear um, what's everyone's thoughts on them uh, you know this year our beans we had a drought and uh, on top of it uh, the beans are super short and the deer have just decimated them so uh, I don't know if you know this is probably a bad year for setting an example, but uh, I guess um, if anyone's tried them, uh, let me know. I'd be curious to see about the fingers versus the extensions or running both or getting rid of the fingers. I've kind of heard mixed reviews about the fingers. So, um, but yeah, anyways, that's a 1020 and a 1460, so hopefully that helps. And if anyone needs any part numbers or anything, just reach out and I'll try to help you the best I can. Thanks.